Teresa Jolly and Gayatri Gopichan Pulela of India. And this is how the women's doubles uh, race to Guangzhou looks at the moment. The Imsad sisters won last week in the India Open against uh, Akcharina and Morozova, who were upset here at this tournament. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, very early days in that race to Guangzhou. So the players now about to make their way on and we have the Malaysians coming on now. Tio Mei Sin and Anna Cheong who have uh, not had that long together. Only started playing last year in their first international tournament actually in October. But these two have met twice before. It's won all, the last meeting at the Welsh International, which Jolly and Pulela won 21-19, 21-19. So we couldn't be expecting a pretty tight affair. They haven't been playing long together, but they've already met each other a couple of times. Well, Gayatri didn't play any doubles in 2019 at all and then played only doubles from 2021, which is when she teamed up with Jolly. So very little history within each pair, but so interesting to see that they've already met each other twice. So it'll be very, very curious to see how this one we pan, will pan out. We've had two relatively straightforward matches here in the Side Modi International, the finals. Will we have a bit more of a contest in this third match? Let's get to meet the players a little bit more. So Anna Cheong is 23 from Malacca, which is where a number of their players are from. 159 centimeters tall and uh, 138 at the moment, but the highest ranking was uh, 50th with Ririn Amelia. Tio Mei Sin is 24 from Subang Jaya, Malaysia. 163 centimeters tall and her highest was 42nd with Amelia Alicia Anselli and that was in 2017. Anna Chong as I mentioned her best with Rune Amelia was also in 2017. Uh, very very straightforward path to these finals have not dropped a single game and there was a walkover in the quarterfinals as well and they played Indian opponents throughout this tournament. And that remains to be the case again today. Gayatri Gopichan Pulela, of course, from Hyderabad, a famous father in Pulela Gopichan. We'll talk about that later, I'm sure. 18 years of age, 162 centimeters tall, and is playing at her highest ranking now of 116. And uh, that, of course, goes for Teresa Jolly as well, who's also 18 years of age and comes from Cherupuja in India, 163 centimeters tall. That's uh, in Kerala, Teresa Jolly. Now, they had uh, a slightly harder path to the uh, finals. That was a massive match, wasn't it? beating Akcharina and Morozova, the second seeds who got to the final of the India Open last week. And then they beat Lo Yunwen and uh, Valerie Xiao in three yesterday on the same court. They looked to be outplayed in the first, but then really stormed back superbly to turn that match around. So they want to draw upon that today. And I think they'll have their work cut out I was very impressed with the way the Malaysians carried themselves. Hermin Armin Mayer, 
umpire from Iran. And uh, Chaturanga Vishwanath of Sri Lanka is the service judge. And a big moment here for the Indian pair because we've never had an Indian winner in the women's doubles category since Said Modi went international in 2009. So this would be a massive moment. In this 11th edition of the international. Plus point on the board for Gayatri and Teresa. Her father is, of course, a massive, massive star here. Pulela Gopichand, a current national coach for the Indian badminton team. Wall won all England in 2001, the second in to achieve that feat after Prakash Padukone, another legend. And he runs a very much acclaimed Gopichand Badminton Academy. He received the Arjuna Award in 1999. That's the second highest sporting honor for India. And then the Padma Bhushan, the India's third highest civilian award in 2014. So a real legend of the game. Who at one point was ranked fifth in the world in men's singles. For the Malaysians, well, this is impressive because they only started playing in October of last year together and they won their very first title in, on debut, the Czech Open. Defeating the Indonesian pair of Febi Valencia Giawanti and Jessita Putri Miantoro in three games in Bruno, Czech Republic. And they qualified for that after beating another Russian pair and Andestadia Boyerum and Elena Yakolova. But clearly this new pair has uh, proven quite effective. And they've opened up a two-point lead here. And a bit more applause, of course, when it's the Indian pair scoring now. Surely we'll finish that off, and she very much does. Anna Chong. Keeping pace with them at the moment. Four, Teresa Jolly and Gayatri. Oh, that is deemed to be out. So the Malaysians are challenging that. They looked at it hard and they felt that they had a case and they are indeed correct. It is in.
So just ahead here, Anna Cheong and Yo Mei Xing. Well, Gayatri heading that straight at Anna Cheong, or oh, sorry, at Tio. Trying to play the drive there, Jolly. Didn't work. Well, better from the Indian pair. Looking to try and apply the pressure on. Yeah, it's nice and tight at the moment, isn't it, between these two? As we've already seen from their previous results. I'll tell you about that in a short while. Nice. Now gone three ahead, as we mentioned. Two previous meetings. Both the last year, of course, because they've only just started playing with each other last year. And both within the space of a few days, in fact. So the very first meeting was at the Scottish Open on the 26th of November, where the Malaysians won that one in three, 18-21, 21-15, 21-13. And then just last month, on the 4th of December, so earlier, the West Welsh International, where Theresa Jolly and Gertrude Gopichand won that 21-19, 21-19. So... They have had, generally, some pretty close matches already. Good winner there from Tio. I have to say, today has been a day of very few long rallies and that's been one of the longer ones we've had i dare say we haven't had anything more than 25 30 shots today but it's anna chong and tio mason who go into the interval ahead here against Teresa jolly and gayatri gopichan pulela 11 7 in the women's doubles final here at the side modi international Well, Teresa Jolly describes her badminton as skillful and attacking. She needs to show a lot more of that right now because they are under a bit of pressure here. That's a little better from them. Actually, that's Gaichi Gopichan who said she likes to play skillful, attacking. Badminton, but Teresa Jolly also says she loves to play attacking. And that's been a good start since the interval. They've won two in a row here. And the 
the two of them say that they are best friends with each other, Pulela and Jolly, which always helps. And that's three good points. And they only trail by one now. Very, very good since the interval. Three unanswered points by Pulela and Jolly. Who trained together at the Pulela Gopichand Academy. Easy for Tio. Just not enough height on that one. Always reaching for that one, Jolly. And had to put a lot more height on that. Oh, very, very good. Cross court drive. From Anna Chong. That's it, and again, just left that one jolly. 14, His father was a well-known volleyball coach in Kerala. And they've now won four in a row themselves the Malaysians to go 15-10 up here. And now five ahead of their opponents. Oh, very nicely done by Cho. Just dropped it in. So delicate. Well, Teresa Jolly at one point was one of the top 10 juniors in BWF rankings. Eighth place at one point. And also at one point, the top junior doubles category as well. And amazingly, coming from a region with no badminton infrastructure, it is a very, very good feat for her. She said it always struggled to find a partner, but now that seems to have worked with Pulella. However, right now, they are struggling. That is in. Well, they are a bit more experienced, these two, aren't they? The Malaysians, even though they've not been playing together for very long. They've got a track record. Remember, they were ranked as high as 50th Anna Cheong. And Tio was high as 42nd. They've got that winning feeling before. Tio Mason has won the Czech Open in the International Challenge Series. She's won the Spanish International last year. That was in mixed doubles with Tikai Wun, who's also playing later on in the men's doubles final. And they are cruising this now. Eight game points. For Cheong and Tio. Straightforward it is for Chong and Tio. They take that first game comfortably, beating uh, Teresa Jolly and Gayatri 
Gopichan Pulela. 21-12. And uh, it hasn't been challenging really for them at the moment. Jolly and Pulela really have to turn it around in the second game. Otherwise, women's doubles title is going to go to the Malaysians. Well, Jolly and Pulella have actually won a tournament together last year when they started to team up. That was the India International Challenge. They won that together. They were second in a couple of tournaments, the Polish International and the Welsh International. So this isn't the first uh, final, but of course, for both these pairs, this is the biggest tournament final that they've ever been in, Super 300. It's a, it's a big moment for both. They've done well here again, it's a good start. Can't slump their shoulders. The Indian pair, got to stay positive. That momentum has certainly f seems to have carried on into this second game. They're challenging that one. Theresa Jolie immediately went for the challenge. She felt that was in. That is uh, very, very clearly out. So, not much is going their way at the moment. Jolly and uh, Pulella. Jolly got into badminton because her father was a sports fan, also a physical education teacher. Well, that's emphatic, and she does say her favorite shot is the smash. She wasn't going to miss from there. And that's their first point on the board. And maybe that could be uh, 28 shots. That's one of their longer rallies. We haven't seen many, as I mentioned. They need a lot more of that. Played at the Uber Cup. First time she played in such a big tournament after the pandemic. She said she learned a lot from that with experienced players. So it was special to her. She needs to hark back to that. Because right now, they are in trouble here. Everything is working out at the moment for Chong and Chio. Again, they've just misjudged that, haven't they?
Just trying to play a little bit more subtle. Tio with the uh, drop, and that goes into the net. Straight to Pulella from Chong. Yeah, at the uh, Uber Cup, the two of them played uh, Jolie and Pulella. They lost in the second round to Supajarikul and uh, Tara Tanachai, but then beat Kirsty Gilmore and Ellen O'Donnell of Scotland. It's a very young and experienced India team at the Uber Cup, especially as... Uh, Simon Nival had to leave with an injury. It's a six point lead here for Tio and Cheong. And that is a pretty wild shot in the end from Cheong for the left hander. Well, it's disappointing, isn't it? Even on the serves, they're not working out at the moment. And they need to be doing more than that. Then some trouble here. That could well have been going out, but uh, Tio played the shot. Took a bit of a gamble. The smiles around. They think they're kind of enjoying themselves at the moment. Oh, just a slip there by Tio. Gonna wipe down that court. Uh, we're gonna see now on the uh, challenge whether the Malaysians had a case. And it was in. The serve was in, so the s challenge was unsuccessful from the Malaysians. One successful, unsuccessful challenge each. Anna Chong actually had a very good year last year. From her second tournament onwards, she didn't go below quarterfinals. Though she did change partners, as we said, to partner Tio towards the end of the year. Slightly better here from Pulela and Jolie. They are four behind now. Yeah, results have certainly got better for these Malaysians since they've teamed up. And again, as we saw in the previous game, it is the Malaysians who go into the interval with a healthy lead. It's 11-6 in game two for Anna Cheong and Tio Mei Sing of Malaysia.
So 11-6 here, the Malaysians looking good right now. Home favourites, they've got to do something here. Sporadic points. Oh, they pull one back. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's just too facile, isn't it? They're exploiting the gaps between the two players. They're finding the angles. It's very good stuff from Chong and Chiu, but the job is being made easy for them at times. Yeah, just the right height, wasn't it, for Cho to put away. The exchange of drives and then killed it off. Jolly said she doesn't like the defensive drive, which she was uh, being forced to play a little bit. Now seven points behind. It is getting increasingly difficult here for Jolly and Pulella. Well, when it's going well for you, Things like that will also go your way. Look at how it just caressed that net and still flew over. That's nicely done by Pulella. Need a lot, lot more than that. She said she likes playing at the net. She likes a bit of deception, Pulella. And that certainly was the case there. Oh, dear. Again, we talked about this earlier with the height on the lifting clears. Got to get it over your opponent and force them back a bit, and it's not happening. That's perfect and for Cheong to just put away double the number of points of their opponents right now, the Malaysians. We talked about the deception from Pulella, and there it is again. They need a run of points here, Pulella and Jolly. And now they are only four points away from wrapping this match up. Chong and Tio. Oh, she's missed it. What a chance. Pulella right at the net where she loves to play. And that was a, a really good opportunity to just drop it short there. She's not taken it. And you could just see the frustration on her face. 25-shot rally has ended in favor of Chong and Tio. And that will be demoralizing, I'm sure. Well, that's better. That's better from Pulella. 
Well, she couldn't afford to miss a second one like that. Well, a good recovery from her after the disappointment of that previous one. That was a previous point. And uh, while there's a wipe down, a little bit of a, a moment to just confer between these two because they've got to do something here if they want to stay in this match. So Chong and Tio to receive here. Pulela to serve. Tio into the net. That's a couple of points for the Indian pair. They haven't done that in a while. Seven four since the interval in favor of the Malaysians. That skims the net. A little bit of luck there for the Indians. Can they harness that perhaps? Better, much better. Jolly with an array of attacking shots, which she says she loves to play. That's three in a row. That's a late flourish from them. Is it going to be enough? Pulela, who's about to serve, says her highlight was playing against Taituing in the Premier Bradminton League, of course. I imagine for anyone to play Taituing, it's always a career highlight. And she certainly would like to hark upon something like that now to use those shot variations from Taituing. Uh, it's a, not a great serve from Tio. <laughs> what a time to be doing that. Well, they've now accrued more points in this game than they have in the previous one. But they're still six behind their opponents. Make that seven. And also, that's the number of match points that Chiu and Cheong have. And they have won this. Chong. And Tio, the Malaysians, again, another very one-sided match on this final day of the Said Modi International Championships 2022. Their biggest ever title, Anna Chong Ching Yik and Tio Misin beat Teresa Jolly and Gayatri Gopichan Pulela 21-12, 21-13. Many congratulations to them. They'll be absolutely delighted and they now add another title together that they already have picked up last year at the Czech Open. They've been runner-up a couple of times and now another one and only been a few months together as well.
Coming up next, the men's doubles final. Another India versus Malaysia matchup. So this is the path that the two pairs had on the way to the final. And we'll be looking at that in more detail once the players make their way onto the court shortly. As of now, of course, Ranki Reddy and Shetty leading the way for India in the race to Guangzhou. They're, of course, the top 10 uh, men's doubles pair, and they were hoping to be here for this tournament, but unfortunately had to pull out. And you can see the legendary Asan and Setia one in second position.